Hi guys, um, I hope you're all well. Um, this isn't a video that I necessarily wanted to make, but it is a video that I feel the need to make, um, and especially in light of everything that has been happening recently. Um, so I've been seeing lots of posts about how best to defend yourself um, when walking alone at night, and most of those involve using your keys. Um, so yeah, let's talk about that. The most common method I'm seeing for self-defence using keys is what's known as the Wolverine method, which is to place the keys between the fingers, like so, creating a sort of stabby, claw-like fist. Now, there are a number of reasons why this is not the best approach. Firstly, by working with our fists, it means that our attacker is already too close. Our range is only as long as our arm. We want to try and put as much distance between us and the attacker as possible, so in a minute we'll talk about the methods for that. Secondly, when we hold the keys like this, we place a lot of pressure between the fingers. So when we make contact, rather than following through with a solid punch, the keys are going to push back into our hand, causing us to release our grip, making the keys slide in many directions rather than having any effect. We also notice in this position that when the contact is made, then base of the keys pushed back into the knuckle bed and in along the bones of the hand. This can cause us more damage than it can the assailant. So what do we do? Well, as we mentioned earlier, ideally you want to create as much space between you and the assailant as possible. So if you can, put your keys on a lanyard or a carabiner or some sort of chain that gives you length. This allows you to swing your keys and gain space between you and the attacker. But as we know, every situation is different and that distance may not be able to be achieved. So what do we do in that situation? Well, rather than taking the keys in between the fingers, instead we take the keys as a whole and we place them in the palm of our hand, putting the sharp ends of the keys towards the baby finger. We wrap our palm around the keys, creating a full fist. What this does is this fills any air pocket and gap within your fist with keys, creating a nice solid punch. This is the best and most effective way of defending yourself without causing yourself any harm. The good thing about this method is that the keys can be replaced for many other items. For instance, if you don't happen to have your keys on you, but you do have a lighter, you can replace the keys with the lighter in exactly the same way. Taking the hand, placing the lighter in the palm of the hand and wrapping the palm around the lighter, creating a nice solid fist. So, as I said at the beginning, it wasn't a video that I wanted to make, but it is a video that I feel I had to make. Um, and sadly, women's safety is still something that is concerned about and thought about every day and every time we step outside the front door. So yeah, look after yourselves, be well, be safe, and look after each other.